Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Aslan Drive-In Copycat. So the Drive-In Copycat, as you can see, it has this really sonic quality. I mean, the logo just looks like they ripped it straight off of the Sonic, you know, thing. That's why it's called Copycat, I guess. Um, it's a sour IPA brewed with lemon, lime, toasted coconut, vanilla, and milk sugar. 6%. Brewed and canned by Aslan in Herndon, Alexandria, either one. Um, one pint. All and it's says. a collaboration beer with Bearded Iris. It is, yeah. And we've done some Bearded Iris uh, stuff before. We'll link up there. Um, but this one's an interesting one because this one's brewed with uh, algae, like yeah. food grade algae, I guess. And that's what gives it its uh, its color. Yeah, so we're about to, f oh. Oh, <laughs> we're about to find out. Now, I will preface this by saying I'm going to try to review this beer on the merits of it being a beer and not on the merits of its appearance. Okay, fair enough. So right away. <laughs> wow, looks like Kool-Aid. <laughs> this is not your grandpa's beer right here. Oh my. Mm. <laughs> you know what this, you know what this kind of looks like? Sort of, kind of, right? Yeah. I mean, it's close. It has that kind of like ocean blue color to it, kind of like a reminiscence. Yeah. Like chlorinated ocean or something. Like it reminds you of the slushies you can get at Sonic. It definitely looks like if you went to Sonic and bought a slushie, like a Powerade slushie or something, and then it warmed up and melted, and yeah. there was like way too much <laughs> syrup in it maybe, yeah. then this is what it like would look like, I suppose. I don't know how into this I am, but... Uh, it looks like I'm about to drink some Kool-Aid. <laughs> it looks like I'm about to drink baby vomit or something. I'm smelling that. Um, yeah, there's some hot citra mosaic. I don't know. The can didn't really say anything about that. I think that. it was citra mosaic and something else. Um, I do smell kind of like that creamy coconut. <laughs> I guess sort. Of, I know I said I was going to review this based on it being a beer, but it's just so bizarre. I feel like I'm smelling stuff I shouldn't be smelling because of the color. Like I get coconut, I get I get those hops. Um, I don't get much of any malt character at all. I mean, would you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think this is one we're this is just gonna have to. We're just gonna have to go for it. Cheers. Mm -mm -mm. So the lady at the front desk, I was asking her question. I was asking her questions about. It's the algae, the sea algae, or whatever it is, and she was like, "Oh yeah, like a bunch of uh, like chefs are using it now in, in recipes. It's becoming like the new hot thing." And I was like, "I've never heard of that. Have you heard of that?" No, no I mean I no. haven't seen blue food in a while, <laughs> so it's like gushers yeah. or gummy <laughs> snacks. I haven't even seen gushers in like two decades. <laughs> That's not true. They did re-release gushers yeah. like a while back, I think. So I mean, I am getting that sourness right up front. It's not too sour. Um, and then quickly followed by that little bit of coconut. I'm getting something else though. Maybe that's the algae. I'm getting definitely the coconut. Like it's reminding me somewhat of a pina colada. Yeah, kinda. I mean, it's not like super tropical, you know, no. like a pina colada would like, be. Like I'm not getting pineapple notes or anything like that, but coconut for sure. And it's vaguely tart. I don't even think sour. Yeah, is. it's not sour. It's tart is what it is. I'm missing a lot of body to it. Or is that it's just me? It's thin. No, it's thin. Yeah. I mean, I love coconut, so I'm really digging the coconut part, but I wish it had a bit more body. I'm not even getting that much coconut, though. I'm getting a lot more of the tartness. I think that overtakes it a lot more than the coconut. It's bizarre. Yeah. It's, a, it's tart. It's an IPA-ish. There's not really a lot of hop character to it, though. Like it's, it's uh, mild. Definitely bitter on the end notes. But yeah, it's just missing like that substance. Yeah, yeah, it is a little bit thin. I feel like. I mean, I don't know with a beer like this. I'm not sure what the chemical properties of using this 
algae yeah. stuff is and if they can even get it to be more uh, full bodied. Yeah. I mean, I don't, it's like the weirdest, it's, it's a weird thing. That's all I got, it's weird. Is it a good beer? I think it's a, it, I think it's a good beer. It's not the best beer I've ever had, period, any, in any category. But um, for what it is, if you take away the color and the weird look to it, I think it's a serviceable beer. Yeah. Would I, I keep going back and drinking this? Probably not. Only because it looks blue and just... So you're saying that the color to you is actually a detriment? Yeah. I mean, it definitely deters away from the experience. You I know, agree. If, if my beer looks purple or blue, like not like natural berry color purple, but like a neon purple or a neon pink. I don't want to drink it. It doesn't look yeah. like I should be drinking it. So. No, it's weird. Unless it's like an actual, like a like a syrupy sweet drink. Yeah. That's that's the contextual thing. There's a lot of shit talk about this beer on the internet just because of the color and like, you know, all that stuff. But honestly, like you take the color out of the equation and it's not a horrible beer. It's just lacking in a little bit of body. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the coconut, I don't know, could be a little bit more forward perhaps. Um, the milk sugar is fine. Lemon lime. I think that's yeah, adding that's... more to the tartness actually yeah. even. This is, like, I would say that this is actually a pretty decent beer uh, for people who've never had a sour IPA. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely easy. It's approachable. It's easy yeah. drinking. It's light-bodied. It's just blue. <laughs> I wouldn't go to the store and, like, wait in line to try to buy this one, but uh, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't a failure. It's definitely, like... Yeah, I thought it was going to be awful, but... Yeah, so you know, There you go. Can't judge a book by its cover, I suppose. All right, guys, well, that does it from us. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure to click that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon as well. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.